hello 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 and welcome back to plans i'm planning here we are in my business planner and even though this is a light week there are still things that need to get done yes so i was able to not only accomplish everything that i wanted to accomplish last week but i was actually able to get a bit ahead so what that does is that gives me a wonderful opportunity to stay ahead here are the cute little washi that we're using this week I like this chick. She's kind of cool. Reminds me a little bit of me. <laughs> but, like I said, I got ahead last week and I definitely 100% want to stay ahead. And to do that, I need to make sure my planner is on point and ready to assist me in such a task. There we go. Oh, gosh. Yeah, I really put this on wrong. Oh, and I can't take it off. Okay. So it's going to take a lot of rubbing. There we go. There we go. Okay, we're all rubbed out. Fabulous. Now, because of this washi, it is a very waxy washi. I'm not even going to lie to you. So I'm just going to cut it right off. I'm not going to do what I normally do and like hit the slice because I'm going to be slicing into my table, which is a huge no-no for me. Thank you very much. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit it with a little cut. There we go. And then we'll go right on to the next side. And I'll actually just line it up once again. But definitely take my time this time around. And what my error was, was that I was holding it too tight. So that's what created the bubbles. So there we go. Lesson learned, thank you very much. And then I'm just gonna hit it with a cut again. Ah, if this paper could get out of my way. There we go. And we are set. Yeah. And I'm using this as the washi that I'm going to frame out my days with. If I can find the beginning, here we go. All right, fabulous. And this will work easily with my normal method ah, my card fell. of using my card. There we go. Now, I do have stickers to use, but I am really enjoying this like keep it simple method. Granted, I do eventually, when I really get like ahead of the game and everything that I'm doing, I will go back to like stickers everywhere and it being like really cutesy and all that wonderful stuff. But until then, I'm gonna keep it simple, super simple to be honest. So this way I'm able to focus because when I plan out my week, you know, with washies and things like that, if I'm not spending a whole bunch of time stressing over how I want my planner to look, like it just makes me so much more relaxed when I'm actually using it, to be very honest with you. So I know there are some people that have like these elaborate um, looks each and every week. And that's beautiful, don't get me wrong. They look beautiful. They buy these gorgeous kits and you know they have all these beautiful stickers and they take their time and they put them all down and they arrange them in these beautiful ways. And that's fabulous. Me? Some days I don't have that time to dedicate to doing, you know, such an elaborate spread for my planner. Ah, that one's not working. There we go. So what I do is I've adopted this method of keeping it simple when it comes to my planner spread. So this way I'm not stressing out about it. And what happens is when I don't stress out about it, I, um, it's easier for me to use it. And then also, I don't know if you're one of those people, but when something's super pretty, you like you don't want to mess it up with wording and writing, or you feel like, oh my gosh, I don't want to like 
my writing to be funky when I write on it or I don't you know know what colors to use to match like I don't want that added stress of ruining the artwork that is the spread so this is why you know recently I've just been keeping it really simple so I don't have that added stress of actually creating the spread but then the stress of like oh my gosh I'm gonna mess it up like that's definitely what I don't want but it's what I fear like when I used to do my spreads and I used to do them super big see and I'm just using some cute little stickers right here I used to do my spreads super big and you know I used to go all out with stickers and I used to create these awesome spreads but like I said then I was like oh my gosh I don't want to I don't want to mess it up with me writing like my handwriting not being cute enough basically you know, to like match the cuteness of the spread. And it was just like, ugh, so stressful, to be very honest. Like I would be super stressed out over some stickers and some markers. And to me, that's not the purpose of all of this. Like, that's not what this is about. I should not be stressed out by the thing that's helping me the most. And when I tell you my planners help me, like they keep me so freaking organized, it's ridiculous. Like I love my planners for that. Because I remember like before I even knew like planners existed, I'd have so many lists all over the place with like all the information that I needed, dates I needed to remember, places I needed to go, things like that. And I'd just be like, oh, there's got to be an easier way to do this. And I was like, okay, well, let's keep a notebook of everything. So I had like a notebook of all the stuff, just like a small little notebook, maybe you got like this big, you know, like that. And I just wrote everything down in. But that's not that organized because you have to like flip through pages to find stuff. And you know, where did I write that down at? And all that wonderful stuff. And it was just like, oh, okay, there's got to be a, an even better way. Like, this is just got to be uh, something more. Like, I need something a little more. Introduce planners. And now I'm like, this is the best thing ever. I don't know how I actually functioned without it. And the truth of the matter is, I wasn't really functioning without it. But I am ever so happy that I am now. See? Now I got everything where I need it. And I know how to like reference back to something and say, okay, that was in March. I can, you know, flip some pages, go to March, figure that out. Or, you know, that was that week. I can go to that week, figure it out. If I need to plan ahead, you know, like if something's coming up in July or August, what I do is I actually write it down on like a little sticky note and bookmark it, so to speak, in that place. So all that chit-chatting and we are done. So I am done with my spread for this week. Ever so happy that I was able to get it done, to be very honest. I just wanted to add something where I can just keep a little list, to be honest. There you go. And I am set all the way set. gotta send an email here usually an email here all right okay now now I'm done done okay so here we are we're all done, sat, ready to go. I am roaring for the week ahead. Thank you ever so much for joining me. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, feel free to leave something below. If it's a little too personal, oh, here are the fine liners that I use for my business planner. They are the pastel colors. 
Um, if you feel like it's a little too personal and you want to email me, feel free to do so as well. It's plannedonplanning at gmail.com. If you just want to talk about anything, um, maybe it's not even planner related, but, you know, just want to talk, I'm here for you. Let's get to chit-chatting. Um, do not forget to follow me on social media. Hit the follow button and then go a little further up. Hit the send message. Slide into my DMs and let's get to chit-chatting. But in the meantime, in between time, later days, people.